Oh, we are live. Oh, yay. Hello. I like when it says you're live. Uh, that makes it fun. Welcome, everybody. We're back for another episode of Bread and Wine. She, she continues to show up, so I continue to show up, which makes me happy. This is a short, short show. Let's keep it <laughs> Remind, that way. Reminding last, myself last and yourself. Last week was too long. Let's go. <laughs> a husband and wife talking about you know things that are going on in their lives, and we are happy to do it live here on YouTube and then for our podcast crowd. Thank you so much for listening. So we'll have to remember that all the things that we're talking about seeing aren't shown on a podcast too. So thank you guys very much for being here. And like always, our creative director is going to take the lead and tell us what the heck we're talking about this week. Okay. I got a good one. Um, taking a break from cultural differences for a minute here. This is something that I think anyone has an opinion on and all right, I'm going to get into it. All right. Here we go. Um, mixing friends with business. Ooh. Do we do it or do we don't? Do we do we don't? <laughs> or do I we like not? No, I, like, I like that. I like do we don't. <laughs> so well, I'm only one sip in, so it can't be the wine talking. <laughs> do we don't or do we do? Um, so in the past, you and I, I think, have... It's not like we've purposely shied away from uh, using friends for certain things. We have a friend who um, is a, an insurance agent mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, definitely wanted to like try and give her the business. But when it came down to it, the, the prices just weren't competitive to what we already had. Um, but I think that we we can both think of a couple in particular mm -hmm. situations where friends of ours have used friends for services. Um, and I'm not going to give details, but it has ended poorly. Yeah. I think um, it has caused strain on the relationship. And so to me, I'm thinking moving forward, I would not want to mix business with mm. friends. Yeah. I think, unfortunately, because it's nice to give family and friends, you know, that support, but I just think there is, there are too many, too much room for error, too much room for, um, hard feelings or I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I, I like to agree with you there, but I think, I don't think I can go so black and white to say never work with a friend on their business ever. Okay. Because. I think that if your friend's business and their service is competitive and you feel like you might get better service because they are your friend, that's something to consider as you are okay. purchasing said service right. or good. Okay, but there's always room for complication. I sure. mean... I, I just think, you know, whether it's, um, a doctor, you mm -hmm. know, okay. So let's, let's, let's give examples. Here. Sure. As long as we don't get too personal. <sighs> right. Um, so let's say <clears throat> for example, okay. The, I don't think this one's too personal. You have a friend who recently got a surgery mm -hmm. and you've also gotten that surgery Yes. and you went to a doctor that you just looked up on Google yeah. and had good reviews and, um, you had a pleasant experience mm -hmm. and if you hadn't had a pleasant experience, I think you probably would have left a Google review or reflecting that. I think you probably would not have recommended that person, but there wouldn't have been personal hard feelings or anything. Yeah. We have a friend who chose his doctor based on he's a nice guy and he didn't have like, I would say as great of a experience with the surgery as you did, but sure. he's a nice guy. Yeah, and I'm not sure so. if that if that person chose them because they were a friend or or if they just enjoyed working with them. But I, I see what you're saying where you might not want to give that honest feedback or review right. if it's a buddy right. or a friend because you want to you you're, you're their buddy first, then and cut a client second or customer second, right? Right. Yeah, I see. I see that. Um. And yeah, I just think, okay, so I have, I have another buddy. This is on the other opposite mm -hmm. end of that. Um, I have a buddy whose husband, um, he's all about using people he knows. He wants to know that Chuck down the street, 
he does my lawn. And if I have any issues, I go to Chuck and, um, you know, Bob, he does our insurance and everybody is a, you know, first name basis and all of that good stuff. And he wants that. He wants that personal relationship. He wants to know, you know, the people that he's working with and he wants to go to the same person every time. Now I would say that person and who, who I'm talking about is very okay with confrontation. Hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm not. So <laughs> I think maybe that kind of plays into why he's comfortable with that. Because if he had a problem, even if it's a friend, even if it's his mom, even if it's whoever, I don't think he has a problem saying it Yeah, and laying down the law and what, like, they like it, they like it, they don't, they don't. What about like, I'm not like that though. What about like, l- like to keep the peace, low barriers, like, hmm. Hey, I've got a, a liquor store. Come, come right. buy my stuff at my liquor store. Uh, I might be a little more expensive, but hey, you know, you can help me out. I think that's a low barrier. If you're right. going to go for something super personal, like, for example, like if I decided to become a financial advisor or something like that, I think that's cause for a lot of potentially difficult friendship slash business relationships. Yeah, because what if you invest somebody's money for yeah. them and the stock market tanks? And they and they blame, blame me. You. Yep. And then you don't get invited to their cocktail hour or yep. their son's baptism yeah. or whatever. And it becomes like, you know, all the friends like no. And then, you know, it becomes like a, a conversation that's had behind your back. Right. Yeah. I, so I what do you think about like that, so that, that counter that there's like. Mm-hmm maybe less emotional purchases with your money that right. maybe you could, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll help you out, man. I'll, 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 I'll support you, especially if you've got a great product. And then things that are like super personal, like insurance, uh, buying a home, right. uh, financial advising, like things that are like emo- super emotionally tied. Yeah. I see what you mean. The stakes are higher. Yeah. So maybe you don't go with friends and family with the stakes being so high. Like home improvement, like you invite a friend into your home to redo your kitchen and then all of a sudden your friend doesn't show up for a month and you're stuck with a kitchen that's not done. Or they convince you to buy something and install it and then you hate it. And then every time you look at it, you're like, ugh, that friend. (laughs) We were even talking about selling our car and saying, hey- we don't want to sell it to family or we don't want to have something that's somebody's daily driver or something that they have to interact with every day. Just in case there's something goes wrong with it, then they'll be like, Hey, they sold me a lemon, my sister, my brother, my cousin, whatever. Yeah. So I think we're both in the same school of thought pretty much with this one, which is when, when it's an expensive or kind of a big ticket, item with uh, the hot stakes being higher mm-hmm. it's too risky okay well, i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take a, 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 a hard position on the opposite side just for fun then so okay. what if what if your ability to spend money could really help out a family member in a tough tough spot and you know maybe it's not like the number one person that i could buy that service from but i'm really helping out a family member in need is that a is that a a good moral road to go down or or a treacherous one? So I would treat that as the same as giving a family member a loan. Okay. Where and what's your stance on that? The stance being, you have to give it, not expecting it to be paid back. You have to you have to go with that good or service. You have to to use that person's service with zero expectations. You know, and like, like for example, with the car, Mm -hmm. we need to sell my car. My nephew is turning 16. He needs a car. Yeah. Instead of selling it to him, I think if we were really going, you know, if we wanted to, to do this for my nephew, we would just have to give it to him outright Yep. instead of selling it to him and expecting anything in return. Same thing with you know, using a good or service of somebody who's really in need and you're doing it because they're your friend. I think that's a good or service, by the way. (laughs) So a a good or one is like better than the better. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. (laughs) 
But you know what I mean? I yeah. think you have to go into it with zero expectation that this is a business transaction and it has to be more of a, yeah. I'm doing this uh, out of the good of my heart and I expect nothing in return. Again, I agree with you. Yeah. I'm trying to it's not hard. agree with you. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, there are certain instances where I think you know, you kind of just have to, yeah. I like, I mean, your, your mom is a realtor. We right. used her to buy and sell our home. Great example. And thank God that worked out, you know, yeah, pretty well. But I think there was like a lot of uh, risk there. Sure. Risk. And it's also, you know, I love you, mom, if you're listening, but it's awkward to work with your mother-in-law in a very emotional purchase yeah. for the new wife too. Right. It's like, she's going to have opinions. You're going to have opinions. And that's like, the ultimate, you know, you purchase a home and, and, and it could, could be a difficult situation. Luckily enough, it all worked out. We yeah, got the home lucky, we needed. Luckily it did work out, but yeah, that could be, could that be cause could be, for trouble. Yeah, it could, it could be, um, I think it could harm relationships. Yeah. You know, um, if we hadn't have found a house as quickly or whatever, and, and, you know, felt like, oh, well we lost that house that we wanted. Cause you know, we didn't put the right offer. Sure. I, I think it's so much easier to have a a realtor or whatever, who, whatever the situation is, to have that person be somebody that you don't have to see every single day for the rest of your life, and sure. you don't necessarily need to keep the relationship, um, you know, on, on the good side. Well, people like because horror stories. Wanna, oh, Did you, you have you had any where you've gone down this road and it's not gone well? I can think of other people's horror stories okay. that I don't want to disclose because I. <laughs> well, you could uh, say a guy that I know did this and that happened without disclosing names. No, is that too personal? I think so. Okay, it's too 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 obvious. <laughs> um, I'll think of. Okay, I, I can think of one. Okay. It's not like the biggest one, but <laughs> the I can think of one. So I can think of somebody who went to a dentist that was in the you know in the friend and family realm mm -hmm. and ended up having to go back multiple, multiple times for, you know, the crown fell out and then the, you know, and then the root canal didn't work. And then it was just like multiple times for like kind of the same issue. Now I've heard that that's pretty common, you know, these like getting crowns, they fall out sometimes, but I think having heard the feedback, I then and I wasn't even part of the situation, but I had just heard kind of this negative thing about that particular person. And so I kind of thought about that every time I saw that person, Yeah, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think it's, it's hairy. I yeah. think it's hairy to mix business with pleasure. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I mean, it can be one of those things where your heart is in the right place. And you feel good about supporting a family member or a friend, but then in the end, are you getting shortchanged? And I guess the opposite end is what if things go really, really well, mm -hmm. you know, and you're like, wow, okay, I'm glad I went down that road as opposed to going with somebody who is a stranger because that might flip you on the other camp. Yeah. I really want to hear people's experience. Yeah, absolutely. I personally, the maybe this is the power of 10, the power of 10 being that uh, unfortunately as humans, we tend to remember 10, like, okay, so if something negative happens mm. to you, you'll tell 10 people. And if something positive happens to you, you'll tell one, mm -hmm. which sucks. Yeah. But that's the statistic that I have heard. So maybe it's because of that that I've heard way more sure. horror stories. Yeah. <laughs> um, but That's just where our brain hear. goes, I think, I too. Yeah. And if anybody who's on the live right now has a, an example that uh, wants to share with us, we'd love to read it and, and help anybody to navigate the sticky situation. Because obviously, we got two people here who are kind of in sync on this idea. But I know there's a lot of people out there who who working with family is a is a way not only to support family but maybe to support your community too and help a whole collective group rise up because if you're not represented in a group this could be a really good way to do that and help people but there might be consequences right if you're not going with the 
excellent service or the one that is, you know, premier. But hey, maybe there's a what's it called? Is the right word altruism? Is 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 there a goal to helping the greater good by doing what you're doing? So I also want to know from business owners or people who do a gooder service <laughs> for people. Um, I think that'll be the name of the episode. Gooder. <laughs> Um, I also wanted to know from those folks who are on the other side, not the buy, not the consumer, but the, you know, provider, um, if you, what do you feel about providing your service or good to friends? I mean, like us, we don't want to sell our car to anyone we know mm -hmm. and not because it's not a great car. It is, but ultimately eventually something will go wrong with it. I don't know if it'll be sooner than later. As of right now, it's an excellent car. So if anybody wants to buy it, no. Uh, but <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's a risk. And I don't want somebody that I know um, thinking that I sold them a lemon on purpose or even by accident and then like just yeah. having that, that bad taste in their mouth. And maybe they wouldn't feel comfortable telling us. And then it would just be kind of this like thing that like is between us and there's like an elephant in the room and I don't even know. Or they would tell us and then we'd be like, all right, well, we'll return it and give you your money back. And then it would just be like weird. Yeah. It's so, kind of like, lo like you said, loaning money. Yeah. Like if I, if I loaned you money and then I didn't get the money back, there would always be that elephant in the room at Thanksgiving dinner or whatever, yeah. where it's like, yeah, it's nice that you got that new car. Yeah. When am I going to get my thousand bucks back right, that right. you borrowed when times were bad? Or you even know? like, oh, huh, you got a new pair of <laughs> shoes. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even the little thing. You right? got 50 bucks for a new pair of shoes. You can't pay me my 2000 back. Yeah. Right. So it's like, if you're going to give somebody a loan, I'd rather just like no strings attached. I'm giving this to you. Yeah. I don't expect it to be paid back. And maybe the same thing goes kind of translates to. I love it. You know, I, I think that you and I are pretty in sync in this. And we it, are kind of boring. It, well, it, well, <laughs> I think that's that's cause for asking people out there what they think of. Obviously, we'd love to hear from you guys. We're getting some great feedback on email and social and voicemails too, which is great. So you can hit us up at marriagekidsandmoney.com slash voicemail or share a comment right here. Shane, thank you so much. I really appreciate that compliment. Shane says, I love these bread and wine episodes. Well, Shane, thank you. Thanks, Shane. And we love bread and wine. So, uh, so well, we're having a lot of fun doing it. People are so kind. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're giving the <laughs> internet a good name, which I is great. Know. So yeah, leave a comment here or shoot us a note on social at Andy Hill MKM. And we love doing this. So thank you guys very much for joining. Let's do uh, some takeaways. Okay. Key takeaway one, I would say, um, determine your level of comfortableness with uh, confrontation. And maybe that will help you decide whether you would be comfortable using friends and family in a business situation. I think that's a really good point because I think that that um, says a lot about our personalities. You and I don't like uncomfortable awkwardness. Right. So maybe that's why you and I are uni unilaterally saying, yeah, oh, I wouldn't do that. Right. So good point. Yeah. Kind and of. then number two. I would say if you are going to go, and this is, I'm stealing yours, if you okay. would go out on a limb and give your buddy or your parent or your brother a try in whatever service or product they're providing, go with it, maybe thinking that you are donating to a good cause or giving the money. And if you are pleasantly surprised by the results, that's great. And then if it's not, doesn't turn out that great, maybe just go in with the heart of being like, I'm going to help my family out as opposed to I'm going to get a stellar service. Right. What do you think? Yeah. Lowered expectations. Lowered expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like three? I do love threes. But we always come, come up with threes. two and then we scramble for a third. Do we need to scramble for a third? Uh, I'll, I'll scramble. Go just because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> I'm like a numbers thing. I'm like threes. <laughs> Get wild. I would say experiment. You could experiment because I'm, because we're black. We're very black or white on this situation. It's, it's good or it's bad. And there's probably a middle ground that where you could find, Oh, yeah. actually oh, this is better. My yeah. third one was yeah. maybe if with, it's a small, yeah, small, less stakes, emotional purchase. Maybe it's an easier 
you know, thing to use exactly. family and friends. Yeah. Like if your buddies, ticket items, smaller if you're gr- super small example, may my kids have uh, uh, selling Girl Scout cookies or my kid yeah. is uh, doing lemonade stand. It's like, get all over that, support your family, support things that are low barrier. Hey, I'm selling a $5 thing on the internet, or I just wrote a book or whatever. It's like, is this thing going to cost you 10 bucks or 15 bucks? Again, think of it as a, a love gift as opposed to the multi thousand dollar investment to maybe like a home renovation or a, a home purchase or insurance or, or financial like, advising or something or like, like that. Or like, you know, a major, major surgery that you yes. need. Like if you yes. need like your hand reconfigured, oh my God, maybe yeah. don't go with, you know, Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's, you know, maybe that maybe needs it's to the be. top surgeon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. I th- yeah, I think, I think that's, that's good. good. I think we did it. I think Jinx. we did it. Well, cheers, everybody. Cheers to you, Shane. Cheers to everybody who's tuning in. And I, oh my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow your lead. Here we go. Cut. Yeah. You don't I, have I, to. Drink. I, I'm not gonna chug it. I, I used to do that at Michigan State, and um, today I'm just gonna <laughs> slowly enjoy my wine. <laughs> All right. Thank cheers, you everybody. Guys so much. Cheers. That's good.